If you're new to this channel, welcome! In today's video, I'll be discussing the reasons why I finally deleted social media. The timestamps are down below, so feel free to skip out the part you want. But before we begin, let me tell you what took me to this place. In 2008, amidst the financial crisis that we are all well aware about, a friend of mine I was on Messenger and sent me a text, the old Messenger, not the Facebook new Messenger, sent me a text, hey, check this game out. This game was uh, Pet Society. So he sent me the link and I checked it out. I wanted a dog and I couldn't get a dog because I lived in an apartment. So then I checked the link out and it took me to this Facebook page. I had to create an account and apparently it was a really cool game. So what I did, I pressed, I created an account and there I go, I had Facebook. Years down the line, I just saw Facebook as a place where I could see pictures, post pictures, play games. Uh, yeah, fast forward, uh, I, did it. I created Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter, you name it. Around 2020, when the pandemic hit and we were stuck at home, I was spending way too much time on my phone. I was spending around two, three hours, maybe four hours. Yeah, for some people that's not too much, but for me it was. Just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling without achieving anything. At a certain point, I decided it was enough. So I deleted Facebook and I deleted Twitter and I deleted Snapchat, leaving me only with Instagram and LinkedIn. Since that moment, I decided, okay, I'm gonna do one month without any social media, see how it goes. So at that point, I deleted the apps of Instagram and LinkedIn and YouTube, and I decided I'm not gonna use it. And then I saw my phone time screen decrease. Incredible. However, I was still wasting time on other things like Nightgall and Netflix. So June 2021 comes and I'm seeing myself wasting time on Instagram and browsing through Nightgall and I just decided, hey Matthias, it's enough. Just delete it, you're wasting your time and just find something else productive to do. And I did. I deleted the app for two weeks and I logged off of everything, so then I couldn't access it. Two weeks come by and I was like, okay, why am I still with the account? I see myself being way more productive. I see myself not using it, so I deleted it. And 1st of July was the first day I deleted it and my account is set to be deleted on the 31st of July, depending on when this video is posted, I could presume, so today, July 31st of 2022 is the last time I have Instagram. First reason why I deleted it is I was wasting my time. I was browsing on Nangag Instagram for two, three hours a day, and that didn't include um, Messenger, so then my phone usage was around four hours a day, I would say. Not Messenger, but WhatsApp, sorry. So I was wasting my time. I was so myself that I was using way too much my phone, and even though I was in social, events, I was still checking Instagram, okay, let's see what people are doing, so I was wasting my time. I thought that I could do something way more productive, like reading books, or creating a YouTube channel and making videos and sharing my story with the world and knowledge that I have. So then I decided to delete it, and since the moment I deleted it, I read six books, and I found that crazy because I'm someone that never read books. And I'm not talking about like 20 pages book, I'm talking about like 200 pages books. Second reason, I was comparing myself. I saw during the pandemic that all you had to do was looking at people and seeing there, everyone had a six pack and everyone had a better life, everyone had a car, everyone had a... They were graduating and I was still studying. Everyone had a really big house and big jobs and they were buying a house at 25, but I just needed to remember that everyone was posting the best of their best there and they were not really posting their struggles, their mental health issues, that they were not hitting, I don't know, not having friends and they were just faking a life which was not per se the life that they were truly living. So I was comparing myself and I was thinking, oh, my girlfriend is gonna leave me, my girlfriend is seeing all these guys with six packs and then she's gonna leave me and I was comparing myself, oh, why do I have a belly, why don't I sport? And then just see myself scrolling through Instagram and scrolling and comparing myself with people that were 25 years old and being a millionaire already or having uh, 200,000 subscribers and I was posting a picture and I would get, uh, I don't know, 50, 60 likes and then someone that posted a picture Two minutes ago, I already had 1,000 likes, and I was like, oh, why, why? So it was 
at the end it was affecting really my mental health and it was a constant comparison which actually stopped and the moment you go out on the streets and you see that life is not how social media paints it life is there's more about life than just taking nice pictures and posting them on social media third reason is i was just posting for posting um, i was not really posting meaningful content but i was just posting a nice picture i took on the weekend i would go with walks and just hey i want new pictures and take 100 pictures choose three and then post them and edit them and all of those things that you do with pictures and I didn't really feel that I was just posting because I enjoy the act of posting but it was more of an approval that I needed to get from likes that oh people still look my content people still like what I do so then I decided to delete it and I thought that I was just posting because I needed to post and I needed to keep people updated to what I was doing which was not the case the fourth excuse I was telling myself was that I was just keeping in touch with my friends. As you might know, I moved six years ago to the Netherlands. I'm from Uruguay. And I thought that if I would keep social media, I could see what my friends were doing, when they were doing it, and why they were doing things, and just talk to them, reply to their stories, and things like that. And I thought that that was that was the excuse why I was keeping social media. Oh, people need to see what I'm doing. People, I want to see what my friends are doing, when they're doing it, my family. In the end, that's not really true because the people that have your number are still going to contact you and the people that you really care about have your number. So you're still going to talk with your friends and the excuse that I had of I'm still keeping in touch, it's bullshit you don't need Instagram or any social media to keep in touch with people. If they're meaningful enough, they have your phone number and you can send a WhatsApp or you can FaceTime or message or whatever service you use to text, smoke signals if you want. So yeah, that was my excuse of I'm keeping in touch. I'm posting just for posting, which led me to have fear of missing out. I would see people going out on holidays, people going to parties, people enjoying their summers back home. And I was like, oh, I cannot be there. I cannot be at that festival together with them. I need to study. It's summer there, it's winter here. And I just didn't feel like I was enjoying at one point my life anymore. I was just constantly comparing myself to, oh, this person is going to a festival and I'm not and oh, I wish I was at that festival or I wish I was at that party, which in the end, it's not like that. In the end, you actually can do other stuff than just scrolling on social media and look into the lives of everyone and have fear of missing out. Something which will be talked about maybe one or two days, but in the long run, it won't matter anymore. So that being said, the last reason I had was I don't want any short form content anymore. With this, I want to say short form content, I consider something that has a lifespan of 24 hours. So for example, think of it like a TikTok, which doesn't break, up, break through or go viral, an Instagram post, which doesn't go viral, a uh, Facebook post, which you scroll and you scroll and after all, it ends, disappears after you see it for seven to 10 seconds. People make content to be seen in seven seconds. And that's the attention span that people are having currently at this moment in life. And I don't wanna create any sort of short form media content that will incentivize people to continue having shorter extension, attention spans. With this being said, I decided to only create long form content, content that doesn't matter if in 24 hours it doesn't break through, it doesn't go viral, as you call it. And it can happen in one year and people can still look at it and people will still be interested. So that's the reason why I decided to not make any short form content. And those are the six reasons why I decided to delete social media, hopefully forever. Now concluding, I suggest you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I actually challenge you to think why are you not deleting social media and leave it in the comments down below. Is it because you want to keep in touch with people? Is it because you're scared? Is it because it's your job? I challenge you to leave something down below and I'll try to find an argument of why I believe 
you can still delete social media given those arguments. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.